Hi, this is a uh, sort of a add-on to my previous video about uh, refining and cropping, refining areas in tiles. Um, just to go into the uh, basic how you crop a bit out and variations you could make. So I'll go through the first one, which is the one in the previous workflow. Uh, so what we're doing is cropping out a rectangular section, refining it, as you see there, and then automatically dropping it back into the image. So there's not really anything to uh, mess with on this except you need to set the size of your crop area. You need to say where it's cropped from in the image with the X and the Y here. So you set the width and the height and so on there. And then everything else is pretty much uh, automated. The numbers are all, all sent around automatically. And so it gets sent up to here processed and then this drops it back in again to the original image so you see there's the image with the refined spy lady um i don't, I don't think spy spy ladies wear bright red coats but in my world they do um and you can soften choose how soft the edge of your new section is uh with the feather mask so you can change these values to make the edges of the piece being dropped back in again soft or hard as you want you can duplicate this group as many times as you want if you feed this image back into the beginning of it so if this image if you imagine this whole lot repeated and then you bung this image back into here um sorry for the wrong place you bung this image back into your crop here so you, you can take more sections out and repeat the process as many times as you want so you can have a whole row of these. You'd have to run reroutes for all the model line, etc. The other, I had a question on the, from someone who watched the video, is how you do a, you know, a, a random, a smaller detail, a, a, a random detail that, that has to have a shape. And that's what this section does. So this section, is exactly the same shape as this one. There are the, the cropping, the process, and then the bung it back in again. And so this is the same. This is the cropping, the process, bung it back together again. This time though, we have sent our previous image here, piped that down here into a preview image, preview bridge, uh, which you can paint a mask in. So when you do this, you want all this lot turned off. Otherwise, this one, this this node here will uh, give you a nice box for the red type. Uh, but so you have that one turned off, or really have all these these uh, three of these turned off. And when this image appears after it has been processed up here, you can use the mask editor to paint in the area you want to change. So here we're going to refine her face. And the mask bounding box chops that out automatically and gives you all the numbers, put it back together again, which is rather handy. So once it's cropped, it's sent up to the process and there's the uh, crop refined. And then that gets sent back down to another preview bridge here and with this one you can paint what areas what you want to go back in again so for example 
if I just wanted the glasses. I could clear the mask, just paint the glasses. <laughs> this will probably look horrible. <laughs> and so I, I could, if I cube prompt, it'll just change the glasses. There you go. So now we've got only the glasses have been changed. And you see, it's perfect fit. And we can see our uh, overall changes here. So you see the coat has all been smooth and refined and is all a bit more leathery and her face as well. And once again with these it won't have the RG3 compare on the on the this is just to show for the video um, but you can you can do the compare thing I, I don't ever bother <laughs> but uh, it's useful for a video. And again, this module, you could repeat as many times as you want across here. And, uh, you know, you could, you, could, you could put a blue bottle on her nose eventually. But, uh, so you can go into finer, finer details. And I think that's about it. I suppose I should say that uh, this is for uh, doing a fairly finished image of a decent size. This is as small as you want to do. This is uh, 1536. I would normally do a 2048 or even a 3000 pixel image um, for this process. So it, it's a refining and finishing process. You're not, uh, you're not making the original image and it doesn't work uh, with small images. So 1024 it would work, but uh, there would barely be any point in doing it. So you're you're better working with at minimum with a one five three six, and better still with a two zero four eight. And that's it. I hope that was helpful, interesting. Thanks for your attention.